Hey, welcome to Geosolve. Today we have another Olympiad question for you. Let's start with the details of the problem. ABC is a triangle. Line segment AF is a median joining vertex A to midpoint of line segment BC. Line segment BD is the angle bisector of angle B and it is perpendicular to line segment AF. Line segment EC passes through point D. And we are asked the ratio of line segment BC to line segment AE. At this point, you may want to stop the video and give it a try for yourself and come back for the solution after. Now let's start with the solution method one. First, let's extend the line segment BD and call the intersection point with line segment AC as G. And also let's construct a line segment connecting points E and G. At this point, we can apply Siva theorem on triangle ABC. Siva theorem states that if all three Sivians intersect on a single point inside the triangle, Multiplication of the line segment ratios on each side, created by these sevens, must be equal to 1. If we apply this to our question, we will have AE over EB times BF over FC times CG over GA will be equal to 1. Since we know that BF is equal to FC, BF over FC ratio will be equal to 1. And from here we can say that AE over EB ratio will be equal to GA over CG ratio. And this implies that line segment EG is parallel to line segment BC. From here, we can see that angle EGB is equal to angle GBF. Now let's call the length of the line segment EG as Y. Since triangle BEG is an isosceles triangle, the length of the line segment EB will also be Y. And let's call the length of the line segment AE as X. If you focus on the shaded triangle, you will see that the angle bisector is perpendicular to opposite sides. And that means that this triangle is also an isosceles triangle. Therefore, the lengths of the line segments BF and FC will be X plus Y. Now if you notice, since EG and BC are parallel, triangle ABC and triangle AEG are similar triangles. From similarity, we can write AE over AB equals EG over BC. Plugging in the values of the line segments, we will have X over X plus Y equals y over 2 times x plus y, and that will give us y equals 2x. The value we were looking for was bc over ae. If we put the values in, we will have 2 times x plus y over x. Since we know that y equals 2x, we can write 2x instead of y in the equation. And from here, our answer will be 6. Now let's start the alternative solution method. First, just connect point D and midpoint of line segment BF. From midpoint theorem on right angle triangles, these three line segments will be equal. And so the length of the line segment FC will be 2x. Now let's call these equal angles as alpha. Now if you focus on the shaded triangle, you will see that it's an isosceles triangle. So its base angles should be equal and angle BDG becomes alpha. And from here, using exterior angle theorem, angle DGF will be 2 alpha. Since angle ABC and DGF are equal, we can conclude that line segment AB and DG are parallel. From here we can easily see that triangle CEB and CDG are similar triangles. And from similarity we can write CG over CB equals DG over EB. If we put the values in, we will have 3x over 4x equals x over EB. And from here EB will be calculated as 4x over 3. If you focus on the shaded triangle, you will see that angle bisector is perpendicular to the opposite side. Therefore, this is also an isosceles triangle. So, the length of the line segment AB is also 2x units. In this case, AE should be 2x over 3 units. And if you put the values in, we will reach our answer, which is 6. If you come up with different solution methods for this problem, please leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.